okay we will start with the area number one uh, just a reminder that uh, split into uh, eight areas uh. so area number one is about investment uh. so uh, before we start with the uh, area number one uh, just a reminder that uh, in M12 or in finance uh, our uh, primary financial objective just remember it is to maximize shareholders wealth okay yeah, so I put it down here uh, maximize shareholders wealth or maximize companies wealth or companies value etc there so of course we're talking about profit organization so if you translate this one roughly it is like uh, maximize companies profit okay uh, since the uh, company is owned by the shareholder so indirectly it is also uh, maximize shareholders profit or shareholders wealth etc there okay yeah uh? so there is a difference between wealth and the profit i will explain further later on uh, for now you just accept it they are basically the same so our uh, investment uh, we are talking about uh, taking uh, investment that all have to be profitable investment so there must be a methods uh, to determine whether the uh, investment is profitable or not so uh, profitable investment that will be the first factor we have to handle uh. so i split into three factors here so the first one is uh, profitable investment the methods uh. the methods there are two here uh, they are both discounted cash flow method that you have to do discounting so uh, the most popular one it is uh, npv uh, net present value and uh, to get the present value you need to have a discount rate and the discount rate turned out to be WACC uh, WACC so area one you have mind map one actually you also have mind map number two WACC it is in uh, mind map number two let's briefly look at it uh. so let's look at the mind map number two WACC which means weighted average cost of capital WACC right uh? so uh, in short we call them cost of capital uh, in short right uh? so i will use interchange that is either i will say cost of capital wacc or weighted average cost of capital so for now we just remember uh, to invest in a project you need to have capital uh, you need money right that's a cost of the money that i uh, come with a cost there Okay, or if you want, it is a cost of finance, right? Eh? So the discount rate for the MBB, uh, it is the cost of capital, uh, WACC here, right? Eh? So if MBB is positive, that will say that it is a profitable project. So it means to say that you take a project, you minus all the project costs, you minus all the finance costs, if it's still positive, then it is profitable. Okay, yeah. So uh, the more profitable means that the higher NPV, right? Yeah? So uh, in order to maximize the shareholders' value or shareholders' wealth here, we will choose the one with the highest NPV. Uh, remember, maximize shareholders' wealth or shareholders' value here. Uh, the second present value method is called internal rate of return (IRR). So for internal return, we will just ignore the cost of finance first, or the, ignore the cost of capital first. In the project, you have the cash flow. So you have inflow, you have outflow. From there, we will calculate the rate of return. Uh, rate of return here. Okay, uh, how much does it earn for the project here? Then we will compare with the cost of capital. We will see whether the return from the project is it more than the cost of capital or not if it's more than that of course the return more than the cost it will say that it is a profitable project okay yeah so in fact these two methods will come out with the same decision say that is it profitable or not okay yeah? one incorporate the cost of capital in the calculation one will not until the end only do the comparison there all right yeah? so since one is telling us how much profit you are earning the other one it is on the percentage there will be a conflict and uh, there will be conflict which you have to know later on right uh, so for now uh, to determine whether to take the project or not 
we will use either MPV or IRR. Now in exam, if they don't mention anything, it is always MPV. Always MPV there. So that's the first thing we have to consider when we're talking about investment. The second thing is we also have to look at the risk involved there. Okay, yeah? so the project may be very profitable, but maybe the company deemed it to be very risky. The company may still reject it. Right, yeah? so that's the second thing we have to consider. We are talking about investment. And then lastly, you have other consideration. Right, yeah? So whenever you're talking about investment, you just remember these are the three things. First thing, is it profitable or not? Second thing, what is the risk of the project? And then the third thing is, what other things you have to look at it? Other consideration. All right, yeah? Uh, the detail will come back later on. All right, yeah? So when we're talking about investment here, we're talking about uh, MPV, IRR. They are format you have to follow. Because you're talking about examination here, uh, you need to have the speed. Even though it is an open book, you need to have the speed there. So I will consistently use this format here. Okay, yeah? So uh, you have the uh, format here is on the left hand side, you have the cash flow format. This is the preferred format in the exam because it is faster. Okay, yeah? so just remember use this format in the exam. Right, yeah? cash flow format. There's another format is called a profit format. Okay, yeah? so of course both of this one here will come up with the same answer, but you notice that this one is shorter, this one is much longer, much more calculation here. But at the end of it, it is the same answer. Okay, yeah? so uh, I present here, it is the uh, cash flow. Huh? So let's say example, you have operating cash flow from the project. Operation, operating cash flow normally it is every year. So you have, normally it's year one, year two, and so on there. Right, huh? operating cash flow example that in the operation, you have the revenue. That's uh, called the cash inflow. Uh, revenue uh? and then you have the cost such as a variable cost like the overhead cost electricity material cost labor cost etc these are in the operation okay yeah uh? so you have a uh, inflow revenue outflow the cost there and then uh, we will group them together you have to pay taxation so example taxation is 20 percent so if your operating cash flow after you net it is 100 here okay, yeah. so your tax will be twenty dollar uh, twenty dollar and then for the investment here you need to spend some kind of capital expenditure normally initially uh, initially so there's no line here uh. you can just erase off this line here uh, it's just a mistake here so this is called a capital cash flow meaning to say that you have to involve capital expenditure uh, capital cash flow so let's say example, you have to spend $40, uh, $40 here, right? Uh? And uh, this capital cash flow, capital expenditure will attract uh, capital allowance uh, for tax purposes, right? Uh? So assuming that your depreciation on the capital expenditure is $10 per year, uh, $10 per year. So this $10 here, you are allowed to offset against the taxation. So you will lower down your taxable profit by $10. So you will pay less tax. Pay less tax, we call them tax safe. Okay, yeah? So how much less tax do you pay? Since the profit go down by $10, you multiply by 20%, you pay $2 less. Because your profit go down $10, you pay $2 less in the tax. We call it tax safe. So you see that the two there. Okay, yeah? So uh, you now add it out 100 minus 20 minus 40, add back the 2, you should have 42. Before you do the discounting using the cost of capital, right? So you have a net cash flow of 42 there. So remember this line, you can just erase it off. Just take it out. Huh? So this is called the cash flow format, right? Huh? So a profit format will be like this. A profit will also include the depreciation cost. 
or depreciation expenses if you want to. Uh. So your operating cash flow normally I put OCF here. So OCF here is 100, 100. So when we are talking about profit instead of cash flow, so we will minus the depreciation of $10. So you will have profit of $90 here. Ah, this $90. Okay, yeah. So you will pay 20% taxation, so you pay 18 only. Ah, 18, ah. So 90 minus 18, you got 72. Uh, but then we are talking about MPV, we are talking about cash flow. All right, yeah. So this is not a cash flow, we now have to add it back. Uh, the depreciation here, you minus 10 here, you have to add back the 10 here. All right, yeah. And then we will also add on the capital cash flow. So if you net it, you also get 42 there. So notice that the taxation actually at the end, they are the same. Uh, they are the same here. So the overall tax here is 18. And we use cash flow here. We split them out. So you have pay 20 here. And then you add the two. That you net, you also 18 there. So, so the end result, actually they are same. And you see that you have so many total here. Okay, uh, you have to minus it. You get a total. And then you have to add it back. And then you get a total, etc. A much longer calculation. Slower in the exam. Do it this way. Okay, uh, use a cash flow. So operating cash flow followed by tax. Capital cash flow followed by tax save. Right, uh? And then you have the net cash flow. So uh, cash flow format will be preferred here. Uh, one last thing before we go into uh, a question, uh, exam questions. Uh, that is, uh, in exam, they will have taxation, they have capital allowance, etc. You may also have to handle inflation. Right, uh? So if there are inflations, we will adjust the cash flow for inflation. Right, uh? And uh, there is a formula here, this is called Fisher's equation. That is convert the nominal to the real. Okay, yeah? So with inflation, we call them the nominal. With inflation. Without inflation, we call them the real. So this gives us the relationship between the nominal and the real. So this is a real here. That is an example. This is a real rate. Okay, yeah? So the rate, you can think of it as the cost of capital. So you can say there is a real cost of capital. Okay, yeah? so if the cash flow has got inflation, we will adjust the cash flow for inflation. Then we call them the nominal cash flow or inflation cash flow if you want to. All right, yeah? So let me just write down for you, inflation cash flow, they are also known as the nominal cash flow. Uh, nominal cash flow. So in exam, if they give us a real cost of capital or real rate there, we have to change this one here to nominal, right? Eh? So nominal, you have to add on the inflation rate basically or adjust by the inflation rate. So it will be more than the real here. So if inflation is so much, because the rate here, we have to add a one here. So one plus real, multiply one plus inflation, it should be equal to one plus the nominal. All the nominal, you can take these two, multiply together, and then you minus a one. Right, huh? So uh, just remember in exam, if there are inflation, we will use inflation cash flow or nominal cash flow. Okay, huh? uh, In exam, you actually are able to use financial calculator, but uh, if you don't have one, don't buy. Uh, just use a scientific calculator, because if you use a financial calculator, you sometimes you will use it only not all the time and uh, if you don't use it you may forget also so i just put a note here if you are using the financial calculator you can uh, follow that is uh, financial calculator here uh, you can actually quickly calculate the mpv or irr but uh, not much faster so if you don't have one fine i uh, use a scientific calculator all right, uh, just a uh, note here, that is you have to key in all the cash flow, inflow, outflow. And before you key in the cash flow, you have to clear all your work. Otherwise, the figure is, remains in the memory. 
Right. Uh, next thing is uh, for the rate there, you have to go down and then put the compute there. IR, you also have to compute. Okay, uh, CPD, depending on the calculator that you're using. All right, uh, so that's a brief note there, yeah? uh, making sure that you clear the uh, work before you uh, enter. Okay, uh, so uh, we are ready to, you, to go into one illustration. So let's look at your uh, illustration. Huh?